Welcome back. Thanks for listening to my ad for SD Arcade. Also, don't call that phone number. As we learned on stream after I made that commercial, it is a phone sex line. Uh... I play Age of Sigmar. I don't play Warhammer 40,000. Gee, I wonder who's going to win this competition. Well, I'll tell you what. The person who deserves to win is going to win this competition. Because I'm going to be objective, distant, out-of-body experience, floating in a lotus pose, unlocking all my chakram, all right? Focusing each of my chi. I'm looking for a good, clean fight, in other words. But I'm not going to pull any punches. There's no pity. Like I mentioned before, I don't have the brain smoothening nostalgia clouding my vision. Oh, it looks like the old stuff, so I like it because I saw the old stuff when I was a kid. Nope. Don't let your mind be controlled by how awesome the paint job is. Usually I'm going to go to the website as well. We're not grading paint jobs. We're grading sculpts and ideas. And we're not grading rules. Don't worry. First up, in keeping with my promise to be purely objective no playing favorites we have frost lord on stonehorn these are actually mine i painted these this is my army so as you can tell totally neutral obviously we're going alphabetically these beasts are looking good good detail cool tusks reasonably okay movement it doesn't really work if you're spamming them because they they're kind of rigid in their body right but they're looking good the riders are really showing their age looking a bit derpy has a great silhouette though I would put Frostlord on Stonehorn in... <laughs> Next up, let's start strong with Nemesis Dread Knight. I've seen these before. They do be having that baby carrier looking ass. It's an inversion. As far as I know, Space Marines are supposed to be big, imposing. This undoes all that. This makes them stupid and it makes them look like children. It's so dumb. This idea is a bad idea. And then it was done poorly. It's got the double dose. If I were a Grainard player, I would be insulted by this. And they go in the insulting tier. Absolutely disgusting. Next, Drake's Horn Templar, also known as Lord Selston on Star Drake for the alternative version. Speaking of insulting, actually not really. I don't feel that this is insulting. I do not like it. This is not a flattering photograph of a Star Drake but its pose is very awkward from all angles. Its face looks strange, its wings look strange, its armor looks strange, and the guy on the back has a strange saddle, and he's of the first generation fat cast kind of look, which I do not appreciate. In real life, they look a bit better, but everything does. It's bad. It's not trash, though. No. Next up is Glucose, Lord of Gluttony. Look at these big strong mutant dudes out front looking good beasts of burden here much better than chaos war shrine the little extra people here be looking cool i like her this guy proud hand on hip look what we got here some relief sculptures with super long tongues questionable uh, lower halves uh, nice cool serpent on the back here this dude some cool details of the sculpting here Honestly, if I had a criticism, and I do, my criticism is Glucose himself, he's not interesting enough. I mean, he's pretty fat, but he's not, he's no Jabba the Hutt, and I, honestly, riding this thing should be a corpulent Jabba the Hutt style, no longer even looks human kind of guy, right? And yeah, he has some tentacles, and he's got a weird head and stuff, but he should be the star of the show, and he's the least interesting part of the model. So I'm gonna have to dock him points on that one. Also, I think Crab Claws are stupid. Aesthetically, they're just dumb. I know that's Lanesh's thing, but that was a bad idea in my IMO. Don't like him. And it'd be a quick replace for him himself, but we can't we can't open that can of worms. We can't be like, oh, if you just convert or replace it, because then everything is cool, right? He's going to belong in B tier. <laughs> Next, Sathun, Shard of the Void Dragon. You know what? This is another thing that might make this tier list a little more fair. In my natural state, unbothered, I prefer sci-fi to fantasy in a vacuum. And I don't know anything about 40k really, I know some things, but that might actually help 40k in this particular one. This is cool, it's a machine god with some electrical business going on, ascending. 
I like the iron wings. I like the lightning between them. The lightning looks a little bit spaghetti. It might lose a point or two from the spaghetti looking lightning. It's a little too thick for my tastes. I know it's probably because it was structural. I appreciate a no face or like a no face slash symbol face, but it, it strikes me as just all right. He's coming apart in squares. Good attention to detail. I like that. Next, Archmage Texas, the god of magic. You almost said some people are stupid for liking this. No, I very, I very carefully didn't say that. I just said they like stupid stuff. Look, I love Big Trouble in Little China. The movie's fucking dumb, right? You can enjoy stupid things, but you do have to admit that they're dumb. Um, Selenar looks very nice. Great wings, good pose, good animal features. Porcelain mask in the shape of a human face. Gynus Sphinxian, right? Because it's, I'm pretty sure it's a female. Um, looks weird. Not in love with these horns. The placement of Teclas here unbalances the whole thing. The silhouette is bad. Um, this, these ruins are beautiful. Great work. Don't like the pose. Don't like the MC Hammer pants. If you could see it closer, you would notice that his facial expression is hella stupid. He needs to be more arrogant and haughty. The skill involved at sculpting all this was like S tier, but... This is, a, this is a wedding cake that the dudes are carrying it to your car and they trip over a curb, so I don't like it. But I, I don't think it's bad. I just think they made a bunch of bad decisions that ruined something that could have been A tier easily. So maybe it just drops two tiers down to C. Tekla should have a smug anime femboy face. True. Exactly. Yeah, composition and silhouette are often important to me. Probably do what else, but um, to me. Now we have the KV-128 Storm Surge. So this is a robot, and what strikes me as very interesting about this robot, I'm assuming this is Tau, is that it is a Games Workshop mech design that I don't hate, which is so rare. A diamond in the rough. This robot has not skipped leg day. Very good. And instead of arms, it's decided, fuck arms. Dude, what do you need arms for? Just get 50 missile pods. Also, shoulder-mounted humongo railgun cannon thing, which looks sick. So overall, I like it. Kron Dias, son of Dracotheon, slash Karezi, who is the alternative sculpt to this one. Very much like the wings, an okay pose. I, w I wish the dragons were a little bulkier, for the most part. And the, the faces, to me, and I don't know, uh, this is going to be a personal preference kind of thing, but the faces ring just a, a hair on the two anthro side of it too anthropomorphized just a bit too much i know they probably did that to show the intelligence of the creature which is like a good idea i wish it had more armor because it's in stormcast but overall looks quite good in real life good artistry on the sculpting of it Krondis should have a smug anime femboy face well you're right again it was the same comment as before but by gum you're right both times so what are you gonna do anyway easy c tier alario the ever queen this shit was so amazing when it came out. People see this and they're like, yo, what game is that from, right? It sells the game. It's one of those, I think. Her Royal Thinus. The idea of putting her on an attack beetle. Her wings I'm not, like, thrilled with, and I'm not thrilled with her arm turning into a thing here. Good sculpt, good weapon, giant beetle, fucking awesome. Particularly this part up here is showing its age a tad. I think we have our first S tier that sells the game. <sighs> The Primarchs. To be perfectly honest, in the context of, like, a greater centerpiece tier list, they're not that different from each other, and they're all fucking boring. They look weird in that Forge World weirdness, badness kind of way. They're not trash, they're just, like, bad. No. And I did a tier list for them before. There were, like, two of them that looked okay, and the rest I was trying not to fall asleep. All the Primarchs should have smug anime femboy faces, you know. Sometimes the joke is funny and then you do it too much and it starts to kind of grind it into the ground. And I just want you to know that we haven't reached that yet and you're still correct. Next we have Knight Tyrant over here and Knight Valiant over here. And remember when I said that it was rare for me to like a robot design from Games Workshop? Well, weird joints, weird legs, bizarro umbrella looking ass stuff up here. I aggressively don't like these. No pulling punches? All right, they're trash. It's actual trash robots. Trash. Marathi, comma, big, because there is Marathi, comma, small. Wonderful wings, great snake body with a good curl to it. Her weapon isn't as impressive as I would like. I like the snakes in her hair. And she doesn't skip wing day, good definition here. 
easily S tier. <sighs> also, wonderful um, silhouette. Actually, a much better silhouette than Alario. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not pulling punches over here. I didn't pull punches with these trash robots. I'm not pulling punches with this aging Alario. That's a great idea. Done very well, but showing her age a bit. Next. Forge World, Lord of Shanj. Its wings are fucking pancakes. Like, thick-ass pancakes. Its face is dumb. It skipped leg day and arm day and body day. Its body is like a, a weird rectangle-looking lanky-ass shoulder kind of thing. The staff is not cool. I don't like birds. The one thing I will say, though, this effluvia up here, what, I appear, what appear to be like pink horrors and blue horrors, like kind of masticating between one and, and the other, this looks excellent. This looks so cool. It looks so much better than the horrors that they have for sale right now, which I think look god-awful. So that is the one good thing about this model. But everything else, not only do I not like, but it is trash. And so it is trash. Trash. I don't think I'm insulted, unless I look at the price tag or something. I don't know that the price of it should factor in when we're talking about aesthetics. It's $430. All right, insulting. Tantalus. So this thing is, this is not from Star Wars, a uh, unique idea, do not steal. But then again, almost everything in 40k is just like a ripoff of something else done as an homage to it. If you want to spin it in a good way. Uh, I feel nothing. Uh, these are apparently models. This thing is, scientifically speaking, fuck huge. It costs 2,000 burgers, and yet it looks cheap, material-wise. And it's got that same bad design that I don't like. Turtle shell, um, weird hips kind of umbrella thing. It's got some guns up here, I guess. I strongly dislike this. Trash! Big, ugly, and expensive? Yeah, I mean, that's Forge World, to a T. Next up, we have a custom-painted version of Mortarion. This dude is so sick, if I'm being really brutal here. The wings are showing their age a bit, in their thickness. Anyway, this shit's sick. He has an awesome gas mask, flies carrying stuff. His scythe looks totally rad. The wings, you can paint them to look really cool. He's flying, huff slime, kind of smoke carrying him around. We have robes over chainmail, and then also full plate, which is cool. Tubes and shit everywhere. This is an S tier. It simply is. This is our first 40k S tier dude. You look at the model and you're immediately told things about the setting, right? Yeah, I almost can't say enough good things about it. And good silhouette. <sighs> Next up is a tank with a World War II soldier in it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a tank. What's this World War II looking ass crap doing in my sci-fi game? I'm tempted to say I feel nothing because it's like, eh, it's a big tank. Yeah. Where are my future tanks at? I don't need tanks of the past. I want tanks of the future. It's 40,000 years in the future, right? World War II ass crap in my sci-fi game is Imperial Guard as a whole. Yeah. I mean, the game is made in Europe, so maybe they give a shit more about World War II still. But I'm over it. <laughs> I'm fucking over it. I think I feel nothing. It's just, it's a tank. It's big. Um, is it a particularly cool tank? Not really. Imperial Guard are meant to appeal to people who want to play bolt action instead. I mean, I, I understand as an olive branch. Let me I'll hold this out to Imperial Guard players. So I, I understand the appeal of like everything is like super future in 40k. I'm going to play the stuff that's actually in the past. Like I understand that thought. Um, and now we have a future tank. Okay. We've got a future tank. The Astria super heavy tank. I assume it's very heavy. So here we have old, boring, World War, whatever tank. And now we have future tank. It's got what I assume to be gravity something or others on there. It's in a more interesting shape. I'm still not terrifically excited about it. But it is cooler than the Bane Blade in all ways. I think this is C tier. Necron Serap Tech Heavy Construct. This thing is like a, it's a cool design. You know, very alien walker looking. I, I like the two front things. This is like a good, a solid B-tier walker from an alien race. Is this Forge World? Hey, look at that. We found a Forge World model that I don't hate. We did it. 
We've got Eidolon of Mathland. This is the aspect of the sea. The one that doesn't look as cool is the aspect of the storm. This shit looks awesome, of course. Wave Cloak that um, really looks quite nice. All the fish friends. Detritus down here. Fish-themed armor. I'm not like a fan of fish-themed stuff, but they chose what they were doing and they did a good job. Yeah, this guy's headdress looks a lot cooler, I think. This could be S tier, I think. <sighs> Then we have the Yin Carne, the Yin Carne Asada. This magical energy with the spiky stuff in it, that looks cool, actually. The single horn coming out and the weird face, and I, I don't like that at all. Her sword's okay. Not in love with the armor. This stuff is cool, though. The stuff surrounding her. It's better than a tank. It might be the best I feel nothing. I kind of don't like it, but one part of it is nice. I think it evens out. Eh, I shrug. The Incarnate is 100% double-cheeked up. All right, I'm on a fact-finding mission. Let's do it. The Triumph of St. Catherine. This is a diorama. Oh, they have dumb tanks too, nice. Everybody gets a dumb tank, it's 40K. There we go, here it is. Okay, you have cherubs carrying stuff. I don't like that aesthetic, but I think it's really popular in 40K. All these ladies carrying stuff, great hoods, very nice. Brazers, incense, a bunch of blood tokens over there. Sword and shield lady with the stuff on the shield. Very nice. All right, cool back stuff too. It's a hover funeral, I guess. Somebody's dead there. I assume St. Catherine. So this thing doesn't look like it would ever fight. Like I know she has a sword, but this thing just doesn't look like it's going to fight in a battle. It looks like somebody made this for a painting competition. Oh, it's a buff wagon? Well, that makes sense. Buff wagons have a place. Yeah, it's really quite nice. This might be bottom of S tier for me. Well done. <sighs> That's one you thought I would hate. Oh, really? Why? Because there is no silhouette. It's just a jumble of nothing. It has flaws, sure, but very nice. And then we have Unky Haywo, can I play Kraga Morose? And the answer for a long time was no. Well, actually, for a short time was no. And then they're like, what if we gave him rules that didn't suck ball? And his rules are good now. And so you can play Kragnos, and he's fun. Uh, he's a centaur, so I don't like them. I don't like centaurs. His armor is like a, a circle, chains and a circle, and like chains in a circle. That's stupid. Uh, his shield, you can't see it from here, but his shield looks really awesome. His hammer is a pretty decent pound mace. If I bought Kragnos, I would give him like a scorpion mask just immediately. Put something in front of that. What a terrible face. And these horns are big in a bad way. Atrocious face. He's also much smaller than I thought he would be. Decidedly unlarge. He is bad. However, he is the very tip top of bad. No. Not a fan. Now we have Shalaxi Hellborn. Hellbane? Hellborn? I don't know. No one has ever actually used her. And then Keeper of Secrets. Prominently featured in Slanesh is playing with gender. It's the first go to level one idea you could ever have about how to tackle a project like this. Oh, the god plays with gender. Let's just, um, bilateral symmetry. Let's just draw a line right down the middle and it's half and half. It's like the most, uh, pedestrian idea to start with. Kind of bored by it. The goat-ish face looks kind of weird. The sculpt itself is very excellent quality and good silhouette. Uh, I don't like crab claws, but these aren't like overtly crab claws, I guess. Basically what we have here is a basic kind of boring idea done perfectly. So what do we do about that? Remember we had the bad idea done badly or whatever. Andrew is like when you're not sure, it's like halfway between. It could be this or that. It's a merging of both, right? And this is like a line drawn down and it's just half and half. Like you can tell which side is which. And if you can tell, I don't know if it should be Andrew or not. Maybe I'm being too critical of it. It's chilling somewhere in the A tier. Yes! Next. Catacros Mortark of the Necropolis. Here we have a diorama, another diorama, after the St. Catherine one. Standing proudly atop, he very much looks like a general. You can see a little bit of the arrogance here. Good sword, good shield, <laughs> standing at attention. His minions around him, look at the disapproving samurai man, really awesome. Secondary character here. Dude bowing, showing him the scroll um, that says, you are winning my lord, please don't kill me has looks like the Prometheans from P Prometheus a little bit. This gestalt kind of constructed exoskeletal bone alien looking thing. Everything is great about it. This is wonderful. And it does tell you a little bit about the world as well. Most dioramas don't have the greatest silhouette, but this one is actually pretty striking, to be honest. Possibly better than Mortarian. I got to think about it for a little bit. Easy S tier. <sighs> Once again, we have a basic standard run-of-the-mill idea done perfectly. It's a black coach. 
It looks perfectly like a black coach. Great horses, great movement. Look at these little handmaidens here holding swords. You got the whip guy, neat scythe. Classics are a classic for a reason. Great work, you're up there. S tier easy. <sighs> bloodthirsters. This pose can only be described as you are a child. You're on a swing, right? And you're holding the swing and you're just swinging. You're pumping those legs. Tap dancing on top of poorly disguised flames. Wings are okay. The model itself is okay. It's just the pose is so bad. This chain hammer thing just wouldn't ever look like this if you were swinging it in any way. It's got a punch fist for some reason, even though it also has that. The axe looks cool. Um, this is a classic, you know, cool looking Balrog style demon. It actually ruins everything. It's not trash because there's something redeemable about it. No. Next we have Tyranid's winged hive tyrant, which is hella fucking tiny. It's no secret that Tyranids are just aliens from the movie Alien. I'm not taking points off for it being essentially a ripoff of that, because it's an homage to it. Fine. What's the difference between homage and ripoff? Well, artistically speaking, the difference between homage and ripoff is whether I like it or not, and whether people in general like it or not. If they like it, it's homage. If they don't like it, they call it a ripoff. And that's basically what the decision is. Weird goop sack holding, doesn't really have a hand looking ass interconnector things. I don't like what they've done to the alien. It's trash. It's trash. Um, we have Kairos slash Lord of Change. I'm going to be talking about Kairos here. This one's just a more impressive version of this one. It's a bird. I don't like birds. His staff is okay. I like the open book. That's a good aesthetic. This symbol looks dumb. Has done leg day at some point in his life. Definitely skipped arm day, but it's a wizard, so that's fine. Two heads is an aesthetic I detest. Filigrees that seem to be just placed randomly all over its body. Like, here's some stuff so that there's detail. I don't like it at all. I strongly dislike it. But how much of my dislike of this model is because I don't like birds. I have to try to be objective a little bit. And so instead of saying it is bad, which is my gut instinct, maybe the fact that I hate birds is ruining it for me. As high as possible in I Feel Nothing tier. But a great paint job can save almost anything. Except this. Forge World Keeper of Secrets. Maybe because it's so old. It's clearly very old. You know, what, what, what is this single boot? You can't buy me with just three random tits. And then one, apparently, like an undersea mine that's supposed to hit submarines or something. Uh, everything about it is awkward and goofy and stupid. And it is trash. Trash! Next. Um, Doc Cauldrons. Credit to Day Red Bruch. Maybe this is a controversial opinion, and this is like an amazing paint job, by the way. Look at this. How crisp that red is against the non-metallic metal gold over there. And still, I say, this is so stupid. This is dumb. This looks like the pumpkin carriage from Cinderella. It's got wheels, no mode of operation, apparently. If this were a Skaven model, it could only move if it was surrounded by 20 Skaven. But since it's dock, it can just move, right? A double staircase. I like the guy holding up the chalice thing. Uh, this Medusa lady's okay. This thing in the back is not. T posing Chad statue looks weird. This shit is dumb. It's so bad, and it looks flimsy, doesn't it? it? Looks like a looks like you're watching a play. And this is the thing that they made out of particle board and construction paper. And then there's like a real staircase they built into it for the main character to walk down during a soliloquy. A bad idea, not done very well. No. I feel like you guys are trolling me. I thought Games Workshop was supposed to have cool looking centerpieces. Guy sitting on a fucking toilet. <laughs> what is this? What do we get to, to the cool stuff? Um, anyway, Inquisitor Karamazov. Cool name. Uh, he's standing on a walking latrine. And he's pointing and it looks like this thing was made in 1999. Maybe it was. As I'm looking at it, this is either like really bad fine cast or possibly even metal. It's funny that it says repent and he's pointing and he's judging people from his chair. And it's like a judge and a, a walking judge seat. It's that Games Workshop silliness sort of idea and I appreciate that. But this one didn't make the transition from probably really cool concept art and silly idea into actual model. And what the fuck is this guy doing here? Look. 25 years ago when they made this thing, it was probably a cool idea and that it maybe looked okay. But today it is trash. It did not age well. Trash! But if you're going to sell the same model for 20 years, at some point, have some dignity and quietly retire it. 
here we have Scarbrand, and this is truly, it's just a Bloodthirster with an upgrade kit. Remember when I was saying that the Bloodthirster, like, his pose ruined everything? Well, this is essentially a Bloodthirster with a cool pose. And look, it's fixed. The guy looks amazing. It's, it's great. Great face, cool, a bunch of armor and stuff. I dig it. Strong, great vascularity that I'm looking at here. The axes look cool. The skull iconography looks cool. His pose looks cool. This is the ideal Bloodthirster. Maybe he was made a while ago, so he's not, like, huge anymore. But beard is cool, and it has the corn symbol at the end of it. Scarbrand is awesome. <laughs> Chaos War Shrine. This thing was made, what, two years after Hero Quest? The proportions on this guy look like Super Nintendo, Sprite, Chibi Action. These walking dudes are really stupid looking. Everything else is just kind of like a like a treehouse, kind of, like spindly, empty. I've seen Chaos War Shrines that look dope. It's really easy to customize it, but right out of the box. This is looking its age and not in a good way. Um, it is bad. No. Stormbird Thunderhawk. Resident Sleeper. This thing is a little more interesting, but then also it kind of looks like a Lego ship. And I can't unsee it. I feel nothing. It is pretty high on the I feel nothing tier list, though. It's above everything else. Kinda. Belisarius Call. This is one of those models and sculpts that looks just exactly like the concept art, which is what you want. And so many models fail to do that. And many models spectacularly, pathetically fail at that. This one is perfect. It just looks like the art, and the art was awesome. There's nothing I can say poorly about it. It's a perfect execution of excellent concept art to final finished model, which is really hard to do. He is so interesting, so intricate, all this crazy extra stuff in here really telling a story. Insectoid and freaky looking silhouette. Not terribly large amount of movement per se, but that's sort of not the point with this guy. He is strongly an S tier. <sighs> it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. A tale of two sculpts. This is insulting. It's so boring, like I'm mad. I'm, I'm upset at this oblong, spheroid, fucking Play-Doh goop, boring circle. This is the maybe worst of everything, because it's just nothing. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, and then we have Nagash, Supreme Lord of the Undead. Looks like a god. He is a god. You have all these books and the swirling stuff. Great ghosts, good staff. He also has a sword version with a cool looking sword. He's got the book that has ghosts coming out of it. Really like the spinal column adornments coming up off of the back of his shoulders. Excellent looking armor. His hat is big and silly, I guess, but this thing is just iconic. And he is also showing his age a bit, but I think like Alariel, he's still S tier. This is a fucking god. <sighs> Next, a pile of rocks. This is styrofoam. I mean, you just, just buy some styrofoam at Farm and Fleet, take a box cutter, and without too much care, just kind of cut stuff out and glue it all together, and then put some flock on there, and you have yourself a $200 centerpiece. This is embarrassing. It's so dumb. It's a bad idea done poorly. A pile of rocks. It's maybe the most insulting thing. Absolutely disgusting. Um, Thankful and Bone Ripper. This is a crazy, you know, Frankenstein big rat thing. Actually has a pretty cool silhouette with all the arms, you know, making a five-pointed star with this guy on top. More flesh than I would care for. I tend to like more armor, and I think his cyber leg is stupid. It shows the Skaven craziness, the techno crazery. It's, like, pretty good. I put it in the top of C tier. If you do not like anthropomorphic faces, or if you do not like old models that are showing their age, then you're going to put one of these ahead of each other. This is a more interesting idea, though. So, top of seat here. Pretty good work. Orc Gargantuan Squigoth. So this thing's face is kind of cool. Big cartoony, you know, extendo lower jaw that couldn't actually eat and neat tusks. Good face, actually. And the stuff on top, okay. This thing's all right. 40K has rules for tanks and things without bases. Then all is forgiven. Okay. So it's only Age of Sigmar where we're like insultingly screwed by stuff like that. Okay. In which case, fine. C tier. It's big. The stuff on the back is okay. Its face is pretty nice, but it's just like a big toy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not impressed. Sinessa and Dexessa. These are smaller than I would have liked. 
but they're really quite nice looking. Once again, they have that half and half thing, but it, it wasn't their choice. They had to copy what came before them, so I'm not going to grade them as hard on that. Peacocks in full bloom. <laughs> really quite cool. Their weapons are hella stupid. Their weapons could be cooler, but these are looking excellent. Easily an A tier, I think. Yes! All right, Glotkin. Cool idea. It's really big. The rules are actually fun. It is fucking huge. And there's all sorts of shit going on. It's disgusting. Maybe it's kind of Akira looking by the end of it. I'm not like blown away by it. It's just big. And there's stuff going on. But I'm trying to fight against my natural dislike for Nurgle because I don't like gross stuff. But Nurgle has some of the best skull, even though I don't like gross stuff. It's supposed to look like this. None of their choices were bad. They were trying to make one huge, really mass of goopy flesh and then two wizards on the back of it. And they did that. And they didn't make any huge mistakes doing so. Solid B tier. <laughs> you fucked up the most important part of Glucose. And you didn't really fuck anything up with Glotkin. Nothing's wrong here. Next is Hell Pit Abomination. It's stupid. And dumb. It doesn't look very good. I guess it's supposed to look like a gross hodgepodge of sutured together rat flesh. Uh, like a a giant sack filled with a bunch of other rats. Just too derpy and stupid and old for me. I don't like it at all. I strongly dislike it. It's not that I, I feel nothing. I really don't like it. Maybe this is an aesthetic I don't like it, but it's bad. No. Obelisk or Tesseract. So this is a cube. I know I'm oversimplifying here. This thing, I need to look at this closer. It looks like something interesting is happening in the middle here. I was about to just really quickly say I'm bored by this, but something interesting might be going on inside of it. So like a chained up, what are those things? They're God being siphoned his, his God juice. Uh, can we get a, can I get a 360? You got green Dr. Manhattan trapped in the middle of there. Oh, you can make like a super huge O version with the, oh, this is cool. This is way more interesting than I thought it was looking at this. Cool, and you got all this, um, you know, everything is square in here, digital being pulled apart, this octopus man up here. This shit is awesome. This thing is actually really sick. This thing would probably be so annoying to take to an event, but you know what? Um, man, and then this thing is so boring. It does have a bit of a Lego thing going on with it, which isn't its fault. Stone horns are cooler than cubes, okay? Legos. Kabandha. God damn, this thing just looks sick. A mighty mane of hair, look at that lion style face to it, good horns, thick meaty hands, arms, and legs, great looking axes, cool wings, great pose, big. If Bloodthirsters looked like this, then I would like Bloodthirsters more. He's simply like the best looking Bloodthirster type thing ever, and I'm actually putting him at the bottom of S tier. He looks so sick. Perfect. <sighs> Uh, Drogoth Hag. Thanks for the green stars, I appreciate it. So this thing looks disgusting. It's supposed to look disgusting. That's what its goal was. I'm gonna be real, alright? I've seen this in real life. I've seen the resin unpainted version of it. It looks like, you know, if you've ever driven out into the country and found like some dude who makes wood carvings with a chainsaw out of stumps of a tree? That's what the sculpt quality is. I guess it's kind of tasteless, but I don't feel nothing. It's gross. It's supposed to be gross, but I hate it. And I would rather see any of this stuff on a table than it. No. Oh, the Maggot Lords. These things look so bad. The mounts look like posable action figures from the dollar store. The dudes on top look like okay, standard, decent Nurgle stuff. They're bad. Are they trash, though? Yeah, I think the mounts are just that dumb. Uh, Vimetrius, hard mold lines everywhere. They look posable like action figures. Uh, they are trash. Trash. Um, Morka slash Gorka not. This is, well, I hate it. This is probably just an aesthetic thing. I hate cartoony, cobbled together, slipshod, uh, metal plates and spikes and the orc aesthetic. The orc aesthetic in 40k, it's just not for me. I hate it. It's dumb in the ways that aren't enjoyable to me. It's just, like, fucking stupid. It's like you take everything cool about Mad Max and get rid of it, and then force in humor that doesn't work at all, and that's that's orcs at 40k, in a nutshell to me. Trash! Um, Mastodon tank. Oh, this is a big tank. Uh, it's shaped like a giant dong. That's cool. 
Got some tank treads. This thing is probably pretty big because those are space marines. It's uh, big, I guess. It's a big tank. Forge with Guo. I remember that when this came out, a friend who played 40k was like, this is the best model Games Workshop has ever made. And at the time, that might have been true. Especially the face. Really did capture, it looks a lot like the art that they had for the old Guo back in the day. The rest of its body be looking like Mr. Oogie Boogie Man from The Nightmare Before Christmas. It is the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And it's just a million years old. Time comes for us all. And it came for Forge World Guo as well. I don't know why they sell all these, because they're all awful. The Greater Demons, they're all just so old and awful. And they have newer, better versions that are better in every way. And cheaper. Why do you exist? I'm going to put you in out of pure respect for how good you used to be. At least maybe your face. I'll put you in I feel nothing. We respect our elders, but really you should have been fired 10 years ago. Unrelated, but your videos got me in the AOS and you finally played your first game and you won. Oh nice. Hey, I hope it was a fun game for your opponent and you as well. I appreciate and I'm happy to hear that. Hopefully your second game is good as well. This is probably the most interesting looking Tyranid. I've seen yet. Interesting arched back here and the spindly legs, you know, and stuff like that. Cool, um, cool idea. You know, you think of huge Tyranid and you think of like huge muscle thing, but this is much more insectile. This is interesting. Quite nice. Oh, should I 360 view? Is this a Forge World because it's so big? Can I just search bio? Hell yeah, let's fucking go. Yeah, look at this. This looks cool, actually. I like this. This is a neat looking thing. Top of the C tier. You convinced your dad to play Beast Claw Raiders, his beard got 100% better instantly. Nice. Good meme. Introduce him to beard oil. It doesn't actually do anything, but I like the smell, and I recommend sandalwood. A stampa. Yep, it's a, it's a giant orc, bunch of sheet metal, duct taped together, and I really, really don't like the aesthetic at all. It looks cheap, and it looks like it's scratch built, but it's not. Trash. You should read the rules for this thing. They are garbage. Well, that makes sense. It looks like a garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking leg up, like, like the captain, almost a T pose. Like, look at this pose. <laughs> Phantom Titan, huh? This thing looks so dumb. This is like a, how big is this? I bet this is huge, right? This has got to be like preposterously big. Because I looked at it and laughed as if it were a joke, I think I have to put it in insulting tier because I, I laughed at it for how stupid it was. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> and pipe cleaners, yeah. Um, here we got Lord Croak inside his Dyson sphere, just chilling, arms crossed, fucking smug ass grin on his face. What a great style and idea. Here we are mixing, essentially this is, like I said in the video, Protoss meets Aztec Mayan. Incan, you know, Olmec, whatever, hodgepodge of all the Middle American and South American ancient cultures. I guess the most Aztec. This shit is so sick. He's a frog, which is dumb, because frogs aren't cool, right? Um, no need for gravity. Thanks for the tier one. I appreciate it. I agree. There is no need for gravity, but I'm glad you found a need to subscribe. <laughs> Got him. Anyway, thanks a lot. This smug ass toad. This this is so sick. This is really quite nice. I just need to decide if it's S tier or A tier. I think the aesthetics and the, where they're taking things from and the style of it and the fact that it's kind of a Dyson sphere. Well, not really a Dyson sphere. More like an orrery, I guess. To me, this is S. Yeah, it's just a ball. There's no movement at all, right? I get it. Really props for coming up with such a great amalgamation. Different times, places, and creatures and all that. S tier. <sighs> Gordrak, the Fist of Gork. Speaking of awful silhouettes that are just a fucking circle, that hurts this guy as well. His silhouette is even worse than Croak's, to be honest. It's just a sphere, but I know everybody calls it a cabbage, and I get the criticism. But it's a dragon that just fucking punches stuff. It's got a cool face. It's got a cool punch fist. It's got a cool body. The dude riding it is sweet, and it's just a great sculpt all around. It's just a sphere of plastic and with a bad silhouette. Those are the only things going against it. And some could say that the perfect silhouette is just a circle, right? Anyway, um, I value this probably higher than most people do. I think it's awesome. The Serastus Knight Castigator. Remember everything I said about this guy? All of it applies to this guy and more. This guy looks pathetic. It looks like a plastic card construction that uh, some locals did at your local game store to make something for the store to just put there. 
over a weekend out of recyclable materials uh, and then spray painted. This is the worst Titan. It might be the worst Titan. At least this one is funny. Absolutely disgusting. Orc gun wagon battle wagon. Okay, so this is a, a silly, just like the real thing, only smaller. If it's not already clear, I don't like orcs in 40k. Everything just doesn't hit for me. They're supposed to be like this, and I don't like it. Is it the dumbest out of all three of these? No. These are dumber. Trash. But it do be looking like actual toys. And I know these are toys. I know. I know these are all toys. But we paint them so they don't look like toys. That's the goal. Right? I say this with self-awareness. Ooh. Tyranid Haridan. God damn, when was this thing made? Look, what is this? What is this? Is this a leg? What is this protrusion here? This thing is old. I can smell the years and years of just being in this shelf. It's a vestigial leg. It looks like a vestigial model. Trash. A Velenor, Alarith, Heart of the Mountain or something like that. These guys are awesome. They are walking mountains with pound hammers or double quarter pounders, depending. The mountain shit back here looks sick. I love their helmets. I love the big steer horns. I love the shoulder stuff and the intricate details here. Really well done. The tapestries hanging off of them. If they had decided to make their legs like proper for something that's supposed to be this big, these guys would have been so perfect. So like that's unfortunate, but they're still cool. That's kind of the thing with Lumineth. 85% of the coolest model ever. And then they do some choice. That's like clearly a mistake that no one would ever decide to do. And it like almost ruins the whole thing because it was such a bad idea. But I like them. <sighs> the issue is cows have relatively thin legs, so it makes sense. Right. But you don't have to do that, right? Because it's a walking mounted. You should adhere to reality as much as you can. But if reality has to fight against looking cool, then reality should lose. I think. Gazkoth Raka. All right. Hey, remember when I said I've never seen anything in 40k that is an orc that I didn't hate? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. He is dumb, right? But he is gloriously dumb. Quad chain gun. He's so overhuged that his head is like in the middle of his body. A skull with double exhaust pipes because his body apparently needs exhaust pipes. A big old claw. Huge boots. This dude is so sick. All right, we did it. We found an orc that is genuinely awesome looking instead of painfully cringe. It's the perfect orc. You did it. I don't know how recent this model is, but it's perfect. <sighs> it's recent? Cool. I asked if it was recent not because it looks old, because it doesn't look old. I wanted to know if it was recent because if it's recent, it's a great sign of the direction orcs might be going into the future, right? Like, if this, yeah, this is 2020, Snatterino says. If this is the most recent thing they've made for orcs, maybe they decided at long last that orcs should look cool. Um, Orc Runefather on Magma Draw. This is a fairly cool looking big magma salamander kind of creature. The thing the dude's sitting on isn't very cool. The guy is small, but he's a dwarf. It's not his fault. You're supposed to be small. He's naked, which is dumb. But his latchkey grand axe is fucking Chad tier. This weapon is awesome. And mohawks are cool. I put him in C tier. Easy. He's not even bad. Avatar of Kahani. He's made out of magma. That's cool. Sword's okay. Helmet is... Are these technology people? His helmet looks like a circuit board. His armor is okay. He's an Eldar model. Do they have anything to do with technology? Well, okay, I guess they're space elves, so they would, right? He's cool. Top of B tier, maybe? He actually has other faces and weapons to look way better. Okay, let's check him out. What's this guy's name again? Hank Hill as heaven? <laughs> Alright, I can't judge him. He's not a corn model. Can we see the alternatives here? Okay, so you could you could make him Illidan, the Betrayer. Apparently you could make him a member of KISS. And you could give him a spear instead of a sword, and the spear is cooler, and the axe is cooler. Yeah, this is 2BTBH. They chose, like, all the worst options for the thing you looked at. Yes! Uh, Sora's Old Blood on Carnosaur. Dinosaur looks okay. Dude on top looks terrible. And the seat he's on looks terrible. This is one of the better sculpts in Seraphon, and it sucks. But that's sort of like the state of Seraphon. It's not their fault. Abhorrent Ghoul King on Royal Zombie Dragon. Alternative build, 
Abhorrent Ghoul King on Royal Terrorgeist, which is a Cork Tigger. The This suffers from the problem of your mount is the star of the show, and you're some tiny-ass dude. You read Flesh Eater Court's lore. This should be Arthas in full armor riding Cindergosa. And instead it's like a gene stealer on top of uh, some fucking rat. <laughs> With spindly, hard-to-assemble, hard-to-paint, skinny, bad-looking, old, and I'm sad. Last time, I was kind to this thing. Because I wasn't trying to hurt anyone's feelings, but this time, we're not pulling any punches out of pity. And this thing is trash. Trash! Here we have Prime Time. The sculpt that came out too early. This is a tragedy that they decided to make the Celestin Prime with Wave 1, when Stormcast still looked awful. Cube. D6s as knee pads, which is fucking stupid. Galmaraz is a tiny, nondescript, boring, dumb-looking hammer, and a fucking wand. I don't like these wings. The star-spangled goop that he is floating on looks like slime. It's so thick. They made Bastion Carthalos, eventually, right? They should have waited until they were that good. Because we would have got a ball and ass Salston Prime if it came out last year. This ain't it. No. Now we got Dirt Through the Tree Man. This is the old for. Oh no. See, this is why I wasn't in the 40k or fantasy back in the day. I'm very old, right? So understand that. But POV, you're me, back in time. And somebody's like, hey, you should play Warhammer Fantasy. And I look at this. And I'm like. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> That's my history with Warhammer Fantasy, right? He's got a 20-foot long sword. He's a tree man. Looks like he got shot in the face with a snub-nosed 45. Hot take? I don't particularly like the tree men models. On a scale of how cool a Trent can look. Just the idea of a Trient, right? Games Workshop Trients are like 3.5 out of 10. It's just not a very good version of a Trent, like looking cool and being big and it just... I mean, there exists such a thing as a 0 out of 10, but I just think much like their dragons, much like the dragons in the game and much like the giants in the game, they have chosen like a specific style and an aesthetic that is just not great. And there are way better ones they could have gone for and they just decided not to because they're trying to do like a whimsy thing, but it falls flat. Okay, yeah, this is a spaceship. I've seen this before. I feel nothing. Yeah, this is boring. You love painting yours? If we're suddenly, if we're shifting from sculpts to painting, look at all this open space, right? The world is your oyster to paint this thing gloriously. Because it really is just a bunch of empty metal plates. You can do whatever you want with it. Think of all the cool designs you could put on it, right? Uh, yep. It's a Forge World sculpt. Exhalted Bloodthirster. Humongous Christmas cookie cutout wings, so thick because they're resin and otherwise they would droop and they even probably do otherwise. This double whip is hella stupid. This is a bad idea. It just looks dumb and it looks tiny. His arm is taller than his whole body, I think. His axe is looking meaty, I guess. It just looks old and thick and weird and bad. No. The gingerbread man bloodthirster, yeah. It accentuates all the things I don't like about Forge World, pretty much. Engine of the Gods Bastilladon. These are cool. They're much smaller than you might think. This guy's looking kind of cute. Same with this guy. The skinks and everything betraying how old this stuff is. It's so old. The idea of an Engine of the Gods with all this aesthetic stuff is really cool. There's no movement, even though these guys are doing something, I guess. Oh, geez. Maybe... Let them rest. Give Seraphon new models, please. Monolith. Okay, this is a cube. This thing is cool looking. It's neat that you got Terminators walking out of spaghetti, but it's a cube. What the fuck is this? This thing is sick. There's more detail than you might think. Like it's rocks down here, but then it's circuitry up here. That's cool. Oh, neat. And the tail goes around. Th that's a cool detail. It's an Xbox. This is the Xbox One. And these flanges are kind of neat. This thing is cooler than just a cube. You could very easily mock this thing, and I will, that it's just a cube. But there's way more detail than people give it credit for. Dreitja Hamadra. Beehive armor. Beehive power armor. Scary face lady. Um, looking sweet. She's cool. Finally, some female form going on, too. 
that isn't like cringe, like down here. Thraicha is sick. <laughs> Zarek, the silent Kang. Oh, this guy is sick. Dying god that he's taking control of. It's a Terminator wizard. Cool staff. He's got shield generators and little dudes here. This thing is really cool. Necrons. They decided to make them interesting in any way, which is um, a great idea. Yes! This is a really cool design. Oh, I know this guy's real name. Hold on. Um, everybody calls him Robo Girly Man, but I but his name is Robute um, Gilliman Guiamo. I don't has has Games Workshop ever just officially said his name so we know what the fuck it's supposed to be? Like, have they ever pronounced it out loud and said this is official? It's something I'd like to know. This is just like Caesar in power armor, right? That's the point. His proportions are comical, in a fun way. He has a flaming sword. His armor has a whole bunch of what I presume to be Roman stuff on it. Big, huge pauldrons in hand. This is like the prototypical space marine ever, right? This guy's sweet. Because I don't play 40k, I'm sure everybody who plays 40k is fucking sick of it. And or hate ultramarines or something like that. But I don't play the game, so I don't care. Yeah, this guy looks awesome. Yes! Uh, we got the Mega Gargans. This looks so much better than their old giants. I just, I have to say that. Once again, I'm holding up the cross to the vampire on this one. Particularly the Ale Guzzler and the one from Forge World. Something that I think the country should officially apologize for what those giants looked like. A national embarrassment. Now these, you might say that they look like they have been inbreeding for 13 generations in a row. And you might say that that takes away from how cool they could look and makes them actually look pretty stupid. And you would be right. But they didn't skip leg day. The one with the beard looks cool. They have decent movement even though it's a crow's step. And it's such a huge improvement from how they used to look that maybe my, as an Age of Sigmar player, my brain is now being taken over with how things used to be. If you have to start from a point of whimsy, fairy tale, inbred, looking ass, fat, doesn't wear any armor even though you wish it did wear armor, this is probably the best you could have gotten once you made all those initial humongous mistakes. So here's a Dread Saurian, it's sold without a base. They don't have rules for not using it with a base. So you have to just make your own out of particle board or something. Paying hundreds of dollars for a plastic dinosaur, you could have broken into a foreclosed on Toys R Us and found on one of the ancient shelves in there after you shoo some raccoons away. That's the same thing. And that one doesn't come with a base either. But at least it doesn't have good rules. It has exactly two things on it that differentiated from just a rubber dinosaur from Walmart. No. Without too much interest in there. No cool pose. The Toys R Us one, you probably could have pushed a button and it roars. He's starting to believe. All right, there it is. Uh, next, we have On Black Dragon. This is uh, Dread Knight on Black Dragon and Sorceress on Black Dragon. Remember when I was saying that being from Europe gives them a handicap that they have to start from the worst place of whimsy and fairy tale for their giants? Well, so too with their dragons. Just the worst type of dragon amongst all the cultures. Every culture in the world has their own dragons. This is not true, actually. But many cultures have ancient legends of dragon-like creatures. These are simply the worst on the planet Earth. Not much more to say about that one. It's trash. It's trash. Triarch Stalker. I'm bored. I'm as bored as the man on this console. This dude is pulling a 9 to 5 quiet quitting, but really that just means he's not paid enough for the work that he does. And he's not being respected, therefore why should he respect those who do not respect him? Speaking of respect, I don't have much for this sculpt, I'm just bored by it actually. Yeah, I feel nothing. Free Guild General on Griffin. Now these are 100,000 years old. They're not as old as Skaven models, and they're not as old as Seraphon models. I think the steam engine was invented when this thing came out, and it holds up pretty well, by gum, for how old and shitty it looks. This thing is dumb, but I don't like the two-head aesthetic anyway. Filigree going on here, feathers in his cap. The tiger stripes are probably doing a lot of work on this one, actually. But for being so old, it, it holds up pretty well. It looks and feels as classic as you would expect Cities of Sigmar stuff to without going potato sack. Uh, Warsong Revenant. The Dute Man. Eggs from the movie Alien. Straight up on top of there. Cool vines, nice movement, good silhouette. 
long billowing hair and a leaf cloak. This guy is excellent. Yes! Guy's just great. Big fan. Trigon Predator. I mean, this is a Zerg. I know Zergs are copies of this, but this is also a copy of something else. And the Zergs looked cooler. So, hey, you know what? Protect your IP by looking cooler than everyone else. No. Archeon Everchosen, the Grand Marshal of the Apocalypse, the Demigod of Darkness, the Master of the All Points. Here we have the mount you're riding is the star of the show syndrome again, much like the Gakorkaja, right? Archeon himself looks awesome. Dude is sweet. Great shield, great sword, great cape. I love the skulls on the necklace. Nice horns, cool armor. Archeon himself looks excellent. Durgar, his horse, is looking so dumb. Like, three-headed. You know I don't like multi-headed, so take this with a grain of salt. One of the heads is a bird. Minus points. One of the heads is a derpy-looking Nurgle frog thing with antlers. Dumb. Minus points. The other one is a generic, angry, red thing. I shrug. The wings are cool. The pose is okay. The most overrated model in the world. Just because it's big doesn't mean it's cool. And I don't like the things sunken into its arms either. This mount is dumb. I don't know. Should have given him a horse or something. Uh, the shit is C tier. <laughs> Sitting on his throne in Varan Spire at the center of the all points. Controller of all the realm gates. Enslaver of god beasts. The demigod of darkness and the grand marshal of the apocalypse. Mid C tier model, I guess. Sigh. Magnus the Red. This is maroon, possibly a burgundy, and then blue. False advertising. F tier. Anyway, um, his feet are dumb. His armor is okay. I do not, I'm not on board for the humongo horn nipples, I gotta say. Not on board for it. This dude looks like knockoff Illidan. His weapon's okay. Wings are alright. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay. I like how he has sleeveless armor to show the guns off. Like, that's funny. I don't know if it's double cheeked up. We're gonna say 1.65 cheeked up on a Wednesday afternoon. Kinda ass. Alright, we got the options of adding bird stuff or a book. Oh, you can make a Cyclops version? Damn, that's stupid. Face is not, not great. Not looking great. Look, I don't know the history of this particular guy or what his old model was or what the concept art was. I'm sure Blizzard ripped it off, okay? I get that. The art that went into making most of those bad decisions was good art, at least. <laughs> Great unclean one. Now, these are big fucking basketball circles. These antlers are a great touch. Love the big smile. Cool looking stuff here. Great sword. You can also have a bell, which also looks cool. Revolting flesh hanging off of it in gross, cool ways. He has a little mascot that's pretending to be him. A thing of beauty, despite very much not being a thing of beauty. I think I said that last time. It's truly revolting, and I don't like that. I don't like Nurgle stuff, but I can respect it. In ways that I can't respect Orc stuff at all. I can respect Nurgle stuff, even though I don't like it. It's a fantastic sculpt. Yes! Achillean Leviathan. So the turtle is S tier. How to is not cool, but how much does it detract from it, really? Because the star of the show really is still the turtle, you know? Yes! Arknot Ironclad. This thing is charming. How nice. I'll spin it later, but it has a dude painting the side of it. Um, you may or may not like steampunk, which this is. I mean, technically it's Aether Breath or whatever, but it's, it's just steampunk, right? They just call it something else. I think these orbs are dumb. But it's, they're supposed to be dumb. They're charming. This is very nice. I wish it had bigger guns. And I wish it didn't have orbs, because I think the orbs are stupid. But this is, like, so cozy. And remember when I was talking about Mortarion was so good is because it told a story about the world of the game and the army he's in and the history. Like, it, you're just looking at it and you're seeing detail after detail about the setting. Arcanaut Ironclad does that in spades. It's actually so good. Yes! Bellicor, the Dark Master. Nobody gets any points for this one because it's 40k and AOS. But um, it's an amazing demon. The archetypal, evil, badass, metal album cover demon guy. He's got chains and skulls hanging from his wings. Good pose, cool sword, 
cool head that is just straight up Diablo. Cool terrain he's standing on, doesn't skip leg day, symbol on his chest. There's just nothing wrong with it. <sighs> Ragnarok spider. The spider part of it aged pretty well because it's just a big spider. It looks pretty good. The how to stuff looks hella stupid, but it's supposed to because it's goblins, I guess. Um, yeah, the, the how to is holding this thing back. It's so old, man. Vermin Lords. These guys are awesome. Vermin Lords are really cool. If everything in Skaven looked cool like this, I'd be more interested in Skaven. Look at this horn game. This horn game is out of control. The double loop-de-loop. -loop. Curved blades at the end of a pole is not a cool weapon. Double tails are neat. Definitely skip leg day, but they're rats, I guess. So who cares? <laughs> Loon boss on Mangala squigs. Well, here's where we talk about implied movement and silhouettes because we're 10 out of 10 on both of them for this one. And we have that characteristic Games Workshop silliness that I normally hate, and yet here my ice-cold heart melts, and the absolute character and storytelling of what's going on here leaves me with no choice but to put this in some of the highest S tier you can get. <sighs> Absolutely wonderful. Soul Grinder. This is straight out of Doom 2, which would be cool, except for some reason it's an Age of Sigmar model, which is wrong. Um, as a 40k model, it's cool. I mean, it's it's from Doom 2. And I say that as a good thing and a bad thing. As in, it looks like it was built out of clay and styrofoam. Uh, pieces of toys that you just took apart and put back together in 1994. Which, back then, was cool. But why it's still being sold is a total mystery to me. What are you doing? Stop it. Trash! Um, Plague Furnish Screaming Bell. These are iconic and classic and wonderful. So much character in them big dude implied heavy movement that looks like it's actually causing weight. He's surfing on the bell, which is so sick. Cool wizard thing. This one is all right, but it's not nearly as impressive as this. This is, again, like when they sculpted this thing, like most of Skaven, it was monkeys hitting each other with bones when the monolith appeared in 2001 A Space Odyssey. And as such, this thing be looking very two-dimensional. A pie plate of stuff and then a pie plate of stuff. You just like stuck them together. But still got that good, cool look to it. But goddamn, is it old. Holy shit. Sigvald, the Prince of Slanesh, pants detected. Yeah, true. By Vince Benchurella. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. He's pretty small to be a centerpiece, but, I mean, it's Sigvald, so I'm, I'm gonna give it to him. Very JoJo-inspired Dio Brando vibes, for sure, with the hearts on the knee pads and everything. It's just looking super great. Also, I like the face in here, the step on me face. Good cape game. Assless chaps. Double horns are even good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is it. <sighs> oh, God. Okay, speaking of things so old that they were drawn and sculpted at about the time Prometheus was gifting humanity the idea of fire so they could cast shadows upon caves and tell stories with it. These were made. Now, Goro with arm blades and an ox head is cool. And I'm never going to say that it's not. That's a cool idea. They're just 7,000 years old. They look kind of like ale guzzlers if you look at them the wrong way. And they skip leg day. No. Uh, next up, we have a bunch of plastic card sheets stacked on top of each other. Vaguely in the shape of a scorpion with a huge fucking gun for a head. Okay. All right. I was about to shit on this thing. But having a coaxial female port here shoot gun instead of a head is actually funny. That is funny. Where it belongs. Okay. It's bad. No. Um, Gobsprank the Mouth of Morg. This is a wonderful model. I don't like birds, but this is very well done. Matter of fact, the vulture almost didn't skip leg day. Great looking ghoul Dan on the back of here with a skull behind him. He has the monkey paw for a staff. This is just a wonderful model. Very nice. Very nice indeed. For all the rules Cruel Boys did not get, they have some models that are just excellent. Oh cool, there's a bunch of stuff on the back here. Oh, he's got a little vest. He's wearing a vest because he's going to get chilly. Yes! Cruel Boys feel like half an army. They are exactly half of an army. Because usually armies have models and rules. I'm just... I probably shouldn't, um... <laughs> big photo of too hard. Their rules aren't that bad. And the Tau Manta featuring some guy. Yeah, I mean it... Is it even a game piece anymore? This looks like a miniature scale thing from a movie, but like a movie from 1985. The absolute size. You could play a game of Warcry on this thing. I mean, yeah, it's a ship. 
free shrugs. How did you not into Morvin Vol? I don't know who that is. I don't play 40k. I'm sorry. I could look her up. Oh, this is this is legitimately a, a centerpiece. Yeah. So they took the idea of the baby carrier and they decided, hey, what if the baby carrier was way less stupid? It was still kind of stupid because she's got her tiny little wiggly arms sticking out here. That looks dumb. But everything else is so much better. It has an actual pose, right? It's fucking posing, unlike the baby carriers. It has a shield gun, which is sweet. All the decorations are excellent. Good face for a woman in a games workshop game. Honestly, cool skirt as well. Good cloth effect. And nice boots. Um, despite her handicap of the awful decision to make her have little tiny baby arms in a baby carrier, at least her feet aren't hanging out. This is the best the stupid baby carrier thing could ever look. Can you review Abaddon? Yes, I can. His face is kind of weird. I don't know if I'm down with the top knot. His sword is great. This thing is great. Nice claw. Good armor and good pose. All in all, he's very nice. I like him. Can he have a cape? Okay, his cape game is actually sick. This is a way cooler version of it. And this is a way cooler face, too. This fixes it, in my opinion. Archetypal King Bad Space Marine Man. Yes! Anyway, here's the final tier list. We slept on it, made some hard decisions, tweaked things, fixed any mistakes. Here it is in all its glory. These are objectively true, factual opinions. And it was a lot of fun. Thanks a lot to the chat. It's trophy time. First things first, some honorary mentions. The best concept art to model award goes to Belisarius Call. The best it's just a circle award goes to Lord Croak, barely edging out great on clean one. Good work, both of you. The most overrated model award cleanly goes to Archeon. The most pity points I gave out award goes to Free Guild General on Griffin. Keep fighting the good fight. The worst big robot design award goes to the company Games Workshop. Great job. And of course, the most best centerpieces award unsurprisingly goes to Age of Sigmar. Congratulations. It was your game to lose. And not just because it's the one of these two games that I play. But if any 40k fans want a silver lining, the oldest worst model ranges also goes to AOS, so you can always make fun of them for that. Anyway, the gold medal centerpiece trophy goes to Loon Boss on Mangala Squigs from Age of Sigmar. Congratulations and well deserved for its great silhouette, masterful implied movement, clever structural engineering with jumping flying models without the need of UGMO flight stands, and fun characterful silliness. Consider that a bouncing meatball is a dumb idea and that almost the worst model on my list was also a squig, so this is extra impressive. Silver medal goes to Gazcool Thraka from 40k. Delightfully over the top, and then over that top. Almost childish disregard for restraint, and I love it. Quad chain guns looking like old man Superman from that one awful 90s comic, implementing the steer horns as exhaust that makes his mantle look like the front end of a 1989 Cadillac DeVille from Texas. In the pile of cringe trying to be funny but failing sheet metal garbage kit bashed together models that are 40k orcs, Thraka rises like the sun to prove that the aesthetic itself doesn't have to be trash, even if every other orc model looks like they're made out of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Join my Discord if you feel like it. And buy a shirt, will ya?